I am often asked to describe the power of music and thus the power of music therapy. And I look at it through a neuroscience lens. We are born with innate capacities for music perception and those actually help us to learn language in the first place. It helps develop our cognition and our attention. And music is primary throughout the developing brain, but it's also very important with repairing the damaged brain. Music is the only stimulus that activates the entire brain. Speech and language are very focalized, so is movement. It incorporates many parts, but not all parts of the brain. And that's the power of music as a stimulus, is that it's very engaging and secondarily, it is robust. No matter whether we come into the world with a disability or we acquire one through our lifespan, music is robust. People can perceive music and produce music at varying levels throughout their lifespan. There are less than 4% of us who are tone deaf or beat deaf, who are unable to move to a beat or to sing a tone. That means at least 96% of the entire population has received the gifts of this innate capacity to be musical, this drive to be musical. And music is a very compelling stimulus. We see children who reach far higher for an instrument that they love when we're working on their range of motion. We see people are able to walk better to rhythmic music after they've had a stroke than they were walking without the music. 